Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back for another Total War video with the Terminator. Over the last six months, many of you have been asking me whether I prefer Rome 2 or Attila, and if one is worth buying more than the other. They have very similar time periods, which means similar factions and battle gameplay, but they are both major titles, so it's a decent money to spend, especially including the DLCs. Both games offer hundreds of hours of potential gameplay, not to mention the thousands of mods that have been developed in the years since their release, some of which are immensely popular, like DEI for Rome 2 or Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD for Attila, and some of which are very up and coming, like Age of Bronze or Dawnless Days. There's a lot to consider, and because of their similarity, it's not an easy decision to make, so I get it. And in this video, I want to try and explore whether Rome 2 or Attila is a better Total War experience by weighing up the pros and cons of each and coming to an honest conclusion based on my understanding and hundreds of hours of experience. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you will have a better idea about which one to buy slash play first. So let's get started. Both of these games, Rome 2 and Attila, may have had a rocky launch back in the day, but today they are some of the best historical total wars you can play. From the absolutely stunning campaign maps to the variety of cultures and factions, all of which of course are unlockable with mods, to some of my favorite total war DLCs like Caesar and Gold or Age of Charlemagne, these games today are both underrated and highly underappreciated. They're also quite accessible, with Steam sales of up to 75% off, making it affordable to most players, especially with the wide range of DLCs on offer. The graphic requirements aren't huge, so you don't need a high-end rig to play on medium settings, and performance-wise, most rigs are well-optimized with little to no FPS issues on a wide range of gaming setups. The games have a large enough and active player base as well, which means you will often find multiplayer campaigns and battles happening on the servers, and players are very, very welcoming. So the question is, how do they hold up against each other? Now, both Rome 2 and Attila are not without their flaws, of course, and we'll get to them in a moment, but arguably the biggest reason to get Rome 2 over Attila is the content, the replayability, and the mod scene. From taking on Carthage in the Hannibal at the Gates DLC, to cross the Alps and wage war against Rome, to starting a Kingdom of Jerusalem campaign in the popular medieval mod 1100 AD, this game offers an immense amount of content to play and experience both in the vanilla and in the mods, which may many people often underestimate. Compared to Attila, Rome 2 just simply has more content. It has more unique campaign DLCs with Caesar and Goal, Hannibal at the Gates, Empire Divided, Imperator Augustus, Rise of the Republic, and Wrath of Sparta. It's gotten a lot more work from CA as well, with loads of patches over the years, even one a few years ago, and it's got more than double the number of mods to choose from in the Steam Workshop. Some of these mods, like DEI or 1100 AD or New World, or Parabellum range in sticking to vanilla style gameplay to complete overhauls, and they're all done with hundreds and even thousands of hours of work by their modders for completely unique and enjoyable gameplay. Now don't get me wrong, Attila has a fair bit of content to offer as well. Age of Charlemagne is definitely one of the best DLCs ever made in a Total War game. Mods like Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD or Lord of the Rings mod Dawnless Days are hugely popular and actually amazingly done. But Rome 2 simply has a lot more content, a lot more mods and DLCs to offer, and it wins out in this regard. Now, while Rome 2 might have the edge from a content point of view, Attila is definitely superior when it comes to campaign gameplay. And the way I like to think about this is Attila, especially in the campaign, is essentially everything Rome 2 should have been. There are new campaign mechanics such as war wariness, sanitation, fertility, or the city raising. There's a noticeable upgrade in visual quality both in the campaign and in the battles with things like siege escalation. There are much better looking unit visuals, unit cards, building trees, etc. But more than that, what most people don't realize about Attila is that it's a Total War game that's completely different to Rome 2. It's a Total War game where you have to survive rather than expand. In Rome 2, you can pretty much take a faction and do whatever you want. There are mechanics there and different styles of gameplay, of course, but there's unfortunately not a lot of depth in vanilla gameplay of Rome 2, and the AI is slightly too passive to make it challenging enough, even on legendary difficulty, where 
Whereas in Attila, it's the exact opposite. Whatever faction you choose is very different from the other. You need to remember that the Huns will be invading, so you need to grow strong enough to withstand their path of destruction, find alliances, grow your military technology, and together with the myriad of campaign mechanics that definitely feel more interconnected and impactful, you will have a very, very challenging time. While Rome 2 might offer more choice across a wider range of campaigns and mods, Attila definitely offers more memorable campaign gameplay that immerses you and challenges you to make difficult decisions, fight battles that will heavily impact your faction's well-being, and make you plan 5, 10, or even 20 turns ahead. This is something that not a lot of Total Wars are able to achieve, so it's definitely got a big, big edge over Rome 2 for me. Finally, of course, we have the battles, the most important aspect of Total War. Both Rome II and Attila take place in time periods with heavy emphasis on cavalry, on heavy frontline troops, and massive melee warfare, and both are equally really fun to play in this regard. But for me, the battles in Attila are far better than in Rome II, and there are a few reasons for that. First of all, there's a much wider range of battle maps and siege maps in Attila than there are in Rome II. They're more engaging, they have better legs layouts and they're just a bit more fun to play. They also have things like Siege Escalation, which is essentially the longer you besiege a city, the more damaged it will be when you play out in the battle, which is really, really cool. Unit rosters seem a bit more balanced than Attila, whereas in Rome 2, some factions are just plain more powerful than others. And while Attila battles might be faster paced in early game, where cavalry charges can wipe out entire medium spearmen frontally, which is just insane, this kind of makes military tech progression all the more rewarding, especially when you start fighting the Hun invasion. Attila has a better morale and fatigue system, general and unit abilities, and for me, more importantly, the soldiers themselves just look plain better as well, and more realistic, especially compared to Rome 2, where faces can look cartoony and expressions a bit over the top, or where armor meshes and textures pop out, or weird unit bugs can often break immersion. Attila battles are simply better in every way, which is why it wins out in this regard. At the end of the day though, it's a really, really tough choice between Rome 2 and Attila. Both games offer solid content and hundreds of hours of fun, memorable gameplay. Arguably, Rome 2 offers more horizontally, more content, more choice and freedom, but Attila gives you more depth and challenge. So for me, those are the main differences between these two games. Attila also has the added issue of performance, which is not so reliable. So if you're gonna get it, make sure to do your research about whether it will perform well on your PC and if it doesn't, I've got a good graphics guide for you that I will link below in the video description. And that's it for today, guys. I've presented as best and honestly as I can what I think are the big differences and pros and cons to both Rome 2 and Attila Total War based on my experience of the games. Each provides a different style of Total War with a range of choice, depth, and gameplay, as well as bugs, optimization issues, and unfinished mechanics. If I had to choose one over the other, I think Attila wins it out for me over Rome 2 when it comes to vanilla gameplay, but that doesn't mean Rome 2 and its DLCs are bad. The opposite is true, and you should definitely give Rome 2 a try as well, especially for its mods. I really hope you enjoyed this video guys and found it informative. If you did, give it a like, drop any thoughts or questions in the comments section below, and subscribe for more Total War content, gameplay, and news just like this. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.